I'm going deep into the woods. <laughs> Good morning internet, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am in Denmark and I just had a morning bathing session here in the water. Of course this is uh, saline water so it doesn't really feel like you really get clean out of that. But we gotta work with what we got and I have this uh, special uh, wilderness uh, wash it's called. Um, which is biodegradable and you can use it to uh, as a soap in nature, which is great. Oh, it's another beautiful day. I am so happy. It's going to be a hot day, I think again. And today I am riding to Sweden. It's, it's going to be a long day, I think today. Distance wise, I can't remember, 300 something kilometers. Um, but I want to have a small tour around Copenhagen because it's such a nice city and then when I cross to Sweden I want to ride a little bit in that city called Malmo and I think then there are two interesting things to see along the way after that so yeah that's going to be a busy day I think <sighs> okay <laughs> I'm finally packed it takes me about two hours in the morning when I'm camping to get ready, pack up the tent, put all my stuff back. It's really quite time consuming, but I did stay here the night for free. So that was really good. Let's hit the road. I just checked, it is uh, about 350 kilometers what I'm planning to do today. So. Where do we go? To the right. Well, there was only a short hop on the highway and I'm already in Copenhagen. Now riding a little bit more towards the center. Getting closer to the historical center. See the change in the buildings. Wow, this is really beautiful. It's really a mix of old and new everywhere. You get old buildings and then immediately brand new and modern. It's really cool, I like it. Beautiful buildings, right? I love it. Right, quick stop at the most famous landmark of the city of Copenhagen. Oh, look at that! The airplane is Oh, this is so cool. Look, look, look. Well, the plane is going all the way <laughs> to the other side. It's too far away now. Anyway, I didn't come here for the plane anyway. I came for something else. So I came to show you this little sculpture. It's not very big, but it's a super famous landmark here in Copenhagen. This is the statue of the Little Mermaid. And it was made in 1913 in honor of the most famous writer, I think, of the whole of Denmark. Hans Christian Andersen and he's famous for all of his fairy tales 
And the Little Mermaid is obviously one of those fairy tales, but he wrote many, many more. So I will ride now back into the city and there are a couple of houses where Mr. Anderson also lived. Um, so I'll see if I can get closer to one of those houses and uh, show you a little bit of that as well. This is such a beautiful building. So, in one of these houses, uh, Hans Christian Andersen used to live, but I do not know which one. <laughs> I believe they have a sign, but I cannot see that from here. But it doesn't really matter which one it was. They are all so pretty. What a cool city, right? All right, that was Copenhagen. I say, let's ride to Sweden. Sweden. Let me see. 33 euros I have to pay. Wow. It's a lot. Have a nice trip. Thank you. My glove. Oh, well, I didn't really see a sign or anything, but I'm just gonna do it. Welcome to Sweden! I could see this building already when I was riding from the, over the bridge from Denmark. <laughs> it's called the Twisted Torso or something. It really stands out because there are not so many high buildings around here. Impressive buildings, right? Look at that. Awesome. I am now in Trellerborg, I think. And there is some Viking history here. So I'm gonna see if I can have a look. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Trelleborgen. Because over here they discovered a Viking ring fortress from the 9th, 9th century, um, which they rebuilt partly. And also this uh, farmhouse is in old Viking style. Oh, that's it, I think, already. <laughs> Does this have some English? Wow, you know what it says there? <laughs> the Danish fortresses uh, around this area have been dated to the period around 980 AD, near the end of the reign of Harold Bluetooth. <laughs> what a name! That was a time of domestic consolidation rather than grandiose Viking raids and expeditions. Denmark finally became one kingdom and Christianity was introduced. Interesting. Well, even though it's not original, original and rebuilt, it's quite cool. Just a tiny bit of uh, Viking history here. Now I'm going to ride to another place which has something even more interesting, well, actually a lot more interesting. So I'm really excited about that actually. 
time for a small break before I uh, continue. I still have some bread from yesterday and some hummus. So I'm just going to have my lunch here. It's around lunchtime as well. It's the first break that I'm taking today. I haven't even had my helmet off all, <laughs> all day. So um, yeah, it's nice here in the shade. So. That's where I am going. As you can probably see, <laughs> I am absolutely boiling. It is really very hot. And I'm climbing this hill with my oh, carrying all my gear. <sighs> Sometimes I think, what am I doing to myself? But I am almost there. Look. So this is Alistenaar and it's Sweden own Stonehenge. And what you see here are 59 huge boulders and they are placed in the shape, kind of like a ship. And they are believed to be placed here in the early Iron Age. So that's about 1400 years ago, but nobody knows by who and nobody knows why. And there are several theories. Some people say it's a burial site and some people say that it's an ancient um, astronomical clock that they used it to uh, determine the time but ultimately nobody knows All right, temperatures are soaring and I have 184 kilometers to go to the place I want to stay tonight and it's already three o'clock. And then I still have to set up the tent and everything. So I am just going to whew, ride, catch some wind, cool down a little bit, listen to some music and then uh, that's it. Ride quickly, so. I will not arrive too late. And we're riding in the forest. Awesome. I love the smell of the trees. It's so nice. This is awesome! Look how beautiful this forest is! I'm going deep into the woods! <laughs> One with the address on the back side. <laughs> so, uh, hi, je bent Nederlands. Nou, dan kan ik het helemaal makkelijk. Oh, echt? Niet verstaan. Moralie, ja, de, in Nederland hebben we dat niet. Hè? De, nee, er staat geen adres. Uh... In Duitsland hebben ze dat wel, dat is zo makkelijk. En dit boekje mag ik meenemen? Ja, dit boekje ja. mag ik meenemen. Er staat heel veel in, dan kan je, kan je alles terugvinden. Ja, super. Ja. Nou, bedankt. Jo, hoi. I think I'm pretty sure yeah so this is where I'm going to spend the night it is already six o'clock and I still have to pitch the tent and eat and all of that so I am a little bit tired uh, I think 
it's been a really really long day but um, yeah it was really nice and saw some interesting things and then to top it off spend the evening here in this place really really nice all right i have settled down the tent is up rowan is there and i was just thinking i didn't show yet on the map so i started this morning here in denmark and then i was riding around copenhagen then i crossed into sweden uh, wait i'll draw it so i went like this and then i crossed into sweden here at malmö then i went to trelleborg then i went to the stonehenge place and now i'm i'm somewhere here and i honestly don't know how i went i think i went something like this <laughs> something like that but all of that was 350 kilometers so it will give you an idea how enormous sweden and norway and finland are it's such big countries but anyway um i had a lovely day so that was it for today i really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video